The time to act has come, and Rook seized the opportunity to attempt to sabotage parts of the Antigone. With the security systems temporarily offline, and with word that the rescue fleet is bearing down on them, Rook rushes to save some of the hostages before the hijackers decide they aren't worth keeping alive. This is Midnight Century, Episode 6, Escape. Luna, record this, just in case. Now recording. <sighs> okay. I managed to give the goons chasing me the slip. Steal myself a snack. But now I'm stopped just about two junctions away from the main security station. I heard some uh, scattered chatting in the comms from the helm of the man that I blipped a while back. It sounds like you guys are doing something from the message I got from you just now, Longstreet. Sounds like you're on your way with some thrilling heroics. Now, I'm real low on ammo. Got one and a half magazines for my Reno and a total of 15 rounds in my love lock. I'm gonna steady your aim with that one, so that's my first choice. Get around the corner as quiet like as I can, sit tight for some sort of distraction from you folks, and then make some blasted foolish entrance to the main security station and hope that I can shoot faster than they can. Uh, Luna, how many do you reckon are in there? I estimate between two and four, with the odds skewed more in favor of the high end. Hmm. Then I must split the distance and plan on three. Will you vibrate once if you see more than that, and twice if there are less? Affirmative. Remind me how many hostages we clocked in here. Before Bravo One began eliminating hostages, there were six in the main security station. I anticipate there will be four now. Hmm. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll be able to repay the favor to this Bravo One. According to my calculations, we will be lucky if you are not killed in the first 8.3974 seconds after you enter the room. First off, Luna, round and report to two sig figs. Affirmative. We will be lucky if you are not killed in the first 8.4 seconds after you enter the room. Thanks. I'll take that little bit of extra time, eh? Second, if the bell tolls for me here, Council, Colonel Longstreet, then do me a favor, will you? Just make a general loudspeaker announcement over the port area at Ebers Station that uh, the bird has flown. Something like, we regret to inform you all that the bird has flown, and that's it. Would you do that to honor what this soon-to-be-dead fool has tried to do for you? It's been a long time since I've been charging doorways like this, and Luna doesn't seem to have faith in me anymore. I am a sophisticated computer program, so I am incapable of faith. I rely on statistical analysis in my decision-making process. Well, that's your problem, Luna. You don't leave any room to be surprised. Do you feel that, Luna? Negative. Ship's responding to something. I believe the engines are activating. But we're already cruising. All hands, prepare for rapid acceleration. Engines now activating. Oh, look. We're running. Must be the cavalry. Noise threshold is rising. It appears that they are not properly executing such a hard burn. Mm, well, figures. Skeleton crew held at gunpoint and all that? Make it hard. If I remember, the last time this happened, the engine cut off at the end of the burn was a little bumping. It is impossible to anticipate how long they will be burning. Well, can we calculate how long they can burn based on their fuel capacity and how much they have already used? I do not have sufficient data to make an accurate prediction. Oh, just give me what you can. Engine burn may stop in the next 15 to 95 seconds at estimated burn intensity. Okay, so we'll wait here for the bump. All hands, battle stations. Incoming weapons fire detected. Point defense systems activated. Targeting system error. Unable to acquire target lock. Now deploying countermeasures. <laughs> Looks like you owe me at least twice, Fobonatis. You're welcome. All operatives. It looks like they don't care about their own crew. We need your hands in useful places. So execute anybody not essential. And bring the rest to their point better. And whoever may 
paint the wall with this, uh, rock's intestines. It's a bonus. I... It'll be bigger if you make him hurt before he dies. Blast it all. I'm moving now. Right. Are you all right? To think that out of all of that, what hit me was a rank and muck. Looks like my body armor stopped them from penetrating. Oh, but blasted all. Those are gonna be some nasty bruises. Okay. Oh, wow. Blast. Okay. Okay. And mark down anyone that I've got a couple of broken ribs, probably. Blasted. I think I'd prefer next time that they just punched clean through instead of this kinetic diffusion garbage. On behalf of your internal organs, I respectfully disagree. All right. Uh, We've removed the liabilities, Bravo One. Same here. I got one. Sounded like you're having uh, too much fun down there. All right. Shavis, you're done wasting ammunition. Last it all. I got one. Report. I'm just glad. Uh, that fool wasn't ready with a rifle. Not much I could have done about that. At least this gives me an excuse to roll around and complain. We need to move quickly. Others will arrive soon. Oh, give me a second to get this helmet off. Oh, you're an ugly one. Uh, Echo one here, done wasting ammunition. They're all taken care of. Sorry, I was cleaning blood off the helmet. Copy. Uh, stopped. Anybody getting security fixed? Just some redundant networks. Main stuff's all still down. We're all to the bridge. Then get your hide up here and be useful. Copy that. I'm not sure they believe you. Incoming weapon destroyed. Probably not, but they played along, so let's get out of here. Luna, are you still recording? Affirmative. Uh, okay. Council, Phobonatus, I've got um, three hostages alive here, all gagged and tied into three bloody messes that used to be hostages. They didn't even bother to clean up the two that they shot trying to get me to surrender, those Riken sons of Salak. And then the one just barely that I missed. Put me down for another three confirmed kills. And at least two broken ribs. Okay. Calm you down. I'm gonna get that gag right off of you. Uh, give me your name, rank, and uh, position for Luna here. Hello, I am Luna. How are you today? Second Lieutenant Earl Calderon, Engineering Sea Shift, serial number uh, 4987. And you? First Lieutenant Diogo Atamare, Deputy Chief of Security. You're not crew, or a Marine. Very observant. And you, name, rank, position? Lenkru Vasily Ikonov, Operations. Great. Call me Rook. This is Luna. Oh, you're leaving. Hello, I am Luna. How are you today? Mm, not great, friend. Not great. If you know how to use one, grab one of their weapons. I'm taking this guy's ammunition. Ooh. Oh, look, a stim. Who are you? Just, uh... <sighs> 
You're a first lieutenant? Yes. Oh, I'm going to feel that. Well, I'm a captain. Working with the Fovenatus and the Council of Everest to rescue you and stop all this hijacking. So follow my orders, I guess. Arm yourselves and we're going to the shuttle bay. We're going to launch and meet up with the rescue fleet. And the others? Most of them are probably dead now. You didn't hear it, but the uh, hijackers made the call to execute non-essentials. Fobonatus and Council figured it was worth risking all of your lives in order to get the Antigone back. May I inquire about the party decorations? Uh, yeah. We were celebrating Prisley's birthday party when Happy they, uh... Happy birthday, Prisley. Hmm, not quite, Luna. Sorry about her. She didn't catch that you were talking about the one on the ground there. Oh, I am sorry. You know how to use that there? Yeah, this is the safety. Yeah, let's get moving. Ooh. Okay. Vessel has matched our course and velocity. Well, there's the cavalry. Probably. Cavalry? Point defense systems are firing. I thought they didn't have a lock. Well, they don't. I blew holes in their targeting system. If the other vessel is close enough, generalized firing solutions may be sufficient to hit them. Hit who? They sent the Fobonatus after us, and last I heard it joined up with some other ships. I doubt the Fobonatus itself could have caught up that quickly, so uh, whatever escort they had is probably getting torn into pretty badly right now. Is the CSD helping? Negative. Missile launch in progress. Missile launch? Oh shoot, I have no space impact. Seconds. Oh, hold on to something! I cannot, for I do not have appendages. You are already strapped to my arm. Blast it. Why do you have to assume that I'm talking to you in moments like this? My personality, core, and central processing matrices have been heavily and illegally modified. Uh, not in front of the Ebers people! Federal software piracy charges are the least concerning. <laughs> All right, move again. Contact loss with missile defenses. Maybe that means they can land some marines here. I think that's exactly what they plan to do. I have detected that somebody is accessing the airlock from the outside. Well, speak How did they get across? It's a lot harder to hit a tiny assault shuttle when your targeting is offline. Those lunatics probably just dove right through the point defense and hoped that they didn't get blown into the void. Attention boarding party. Your rat may have sabotaged some of our weapons and security systems, but we have noticed your entrance to the vessel. For every meter you move onto my ship, we take a generous centimeter off of somebody's finger. For every door you breach, we take off a foot. For every disrupted camera, an eye. We recommend that you get back on your little shuttle and right back off to where you came from. And tell your politicians to get in contact with our politicians in time, eh? Okay. So there's the real lunatic. He does not seem to be in a good mood. Either that or he's in a great mood. You never know with those types. But the presence of the Marines means we're no longer the biggest threat around here. Luna, uh, pull up the schematic. Oh, okay. You three. You know how to get to this airlock here. I do. Well, that's where their Marines are at. Do whatever you have to do to not get shot. By either them thinking you're the bad guys, or the hijackers thinking you're the good guys. And when you get to them, tell them that Bravo One there is blowing smoke through the loudspeakers. He's probably already shot all of his hostages. He's just trying to stall until they can get this thing into the asteroid belt. Got it? Where are you going? I've got other plans. You're going to help them capture the ship? They can't have docked more than one shuttle of marines Mo, here. this is your best chance. Thank you. Go! Uh. Okay. Luna, which way to the shuttle bay? Take a left. May I ask what you plan to do? You know what I'm gonna do. Remind me which of those two shuttles had a comm array. The ESS Wisconsin, the large one on the forward side of the bay. Are you not going to help secure the rest of the ship? Wisconsin? What the blazes is a Wisconsin? I do not know. Blasted. And no, I'm not going to. Are we still recording? Affirmative. Okay. Council, 
Colonel Longstreet, let me lay this out here for you. I alerted you to the initial hijacking. I helped you track down the Antigone and figure out where it was going. I've relayed every insight and piece of intel I had on these guys. I have risked my own life several times to try and save your crew members. I saved as many of them as I could. I killed six of the 17 hijackers. I took two bullets just now for you and your cause, cause my blasted AI made me feel guilty. And when the stim pack wears off, those broken ribs are gonna hurt almost as much as seeing the bloody mess of the people who were killed in my name. No, no, I can't blame any of it on Luna. I did it all because I'm fundamentally opposed to anyone who would kick off a crisis like this. Yeah, Hypatia's a mess, and you're right next to the heart of that. But at least you aren't trying to reshape it in your own image. You're not the ones executing innocents here. So here's the situation. I'm not supposed to be here. I've set up one of your shuttles as a decent escape option for myself. We're close to the belt now. I've got enough contacts in there that if your ships are still drawing the attention of these goons, then I can slip away. And if we're all lucky, you'll never have to hear my voice again. Don't worry, I don't intend on keeping your Wisconsin shuttle. Trust me that it'll pop up in a timely manner somewhere convenient for you to mosey by and pick it up. You have my word. Right now, the only way I have any trouble is if whoever is outside decides to treat me like a skeet for some target practice. In light of everything I've done for you here, I say, that would be awfully inconsiderate and ungrateful. But, as I've said before, I'm certain that out of all of the players at this table, you're the one who's not executing innocence. And this whole thing smells like it's some part of a larger scheme. I'm willing to abandon my escape plan and stay aboard the Antigone, trying to help your Marines get control of it from the inside and use all of my hard-fought knowledge of the place to help round this up nicely without more innocent people dying. But, to do that, I need a promise and a paper. In exchange for more help, I need, in writing, all of the official, fancy, legal ways covered, a full and complete pardon for any crimes or other lawlessness that I have committed or may commit up through the end of this operation and complete protection from being arrested, indicted, charged, or forced to testify regarding anything I may have done before now. No, I will not give you a list, nor will I give you any identifying information that you could use to get such a list. And to know that there are some things I will not tell you about even after I've been given the pardon, but they will need to be covered in that pardon should they ever come out. Now, I know that such things are going to take a little bit of time to come through. So, if the council agrees to work on that, and while they're doing their darndest to make it happen, Colonel Longstreet, I will give you my word that I will do everything in my power to help you and your operation in exchange for your word that you will protect me from anybody who may want to come after me and see that this bargain for a pardon is upheld. And if blanket pardons for you don't even know what sounds like too much of a risk for you, then say no more. I'll be on my way and you'll never hear from me again. Claim I was one of the crew members who died and keep the glory within your own organizations. I don't need no pay and I don't need no fame. Just don't try to blow my shuttle out of the sky and I'm a half a man. I can give you 30 minutes, max. But if I get your word, Longstreet, I'll get moving to help right away. I then trust that you won't stop pushing the council until they get that paperwork sorted out. And if they don't, who would they even send to stop you from letting me go? I mean, you're the one with the big railgun. Oh, I'm a blasted fool. Cut the line, Luna. Ending transmission. Thank you for listening to Celestial Horizons Midnight Century. It's available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube with new episodes releasing every Thursday. 
The story is shaped by audience members like you through our modules and through the Council of Everest, our Patreon group. Currently, a ship called the ESS Phobonatus is trying to track down and recapture the Antigone. You can step into the shoes of its commanding officer in Operation Bloodhound. Part 4 is already out, and Part 5 releases in two weeks. The success of the mission, the lives of your crew, and the future of Hypatia will be in your hands. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for updates on future videos, and check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Music by Nathan Young and Marcus Richardson. A huge thank you to our corporate overlord, Voidspond, as well as John Parker and Anonymous, our armchair generals who approved these dangerous operations. Good luck and Godspeed.